Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Ray of Gatesair. Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good. So tell me, what is Gatesair's role right now in the media and broadcasting world? Well, we're a global uh, leader in RF technology, which is over the air. Um, we have products for radio transmission, uh, digital radio transmission, and a full suite of uh, television products. In addition, we have a, a transport product line, meaning from the studio to the ingest area, whether it be a transmitter or studio studio, we have a full line of uh, audio transport technologies that we package for the broadcasters. Very nice. And so what trends are you noticing as far as technology in the media and broadcasting industry right now? Well, in, in our world, um, we have a lot of trends. Um, in the U.S., a lot of uh, customers in, the, in both radio and TV are modernizing their plant. Um, in a lot of cases during COVID, they didn't spend money. And now we're seeing kind of a revenge CapEx where they're saying, hey, our business is coming back. Um, from the deaths of COVID, and uh, we need to modernize our plant, we need to get more signals out there, we need to get more content out there. On the TV space, there's a new modulation in the U.S. called ATSC3, which gives the viewer, the broadcaster, the ability to provide additional content and, and value to the, their audience. So in a lot of those cases, they don't run it on the old equipment, they're using this opportunity as they deploy ATSC3, to modernize their RF infrastructure plant. Internationally, we see a lot of still, we have the analog to digital transition. We see a lot of governments trying to increase the amount of content that they can provide to their population. So we see a lot of FM expansion, signal expansion, uh, digital television conversion from analog, uh, just getting more communications passed to the people. Uh, we see that in Africa. Uh, we see that in the Middle East. Um, another uh, trend is that the adoption of DAB, which is the digital radio, primarily used in Europe, uh, historically, uh, they're expanding signals, and we're seeing DAB adoption in the Middle East, we're seeing it in Southeast Asia, so a lot of, uh, we're selling a lot of DAB transmitters, which is good for the company. Absolutely. And what are you showcasing here at IBC? Um, our full product line. Um, we usually try to highlight some of the new things that we've come out in the last year. Uh, we have new DAB products. Uh, we have new packaged products. So for example, here you see a pole mounted tr television transmitter, which kind of breaks the mold. Usually the transmitter's inside. We're going telling the broadcaster that you can save on real estate. You can save on air conditioning by using the cellular network concept of just putting a box on a pole which makes it much easier to cover smaller villages, towns, uh, do it fill-ins where their big stick may not uh, provide uh, coverage, uh, whether it's radio or TV coverage in the market. Um, we have uh, basically a bunch of new products uh, showcasing, showcasing some of our stables. Uh, we are coming out with a new line of FM uh, that is cost reduced so that for very sensitive uh, customers and sensitive priced markets, uh, we can compete against the, the cheaper people, say, from Italy. So bringing U.S. quality uh, to the continent. And so can you tell me a little bit more about some of your latest developments and who you might be targeting with those? Sure. It's anybody who's got money. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, yeah, so a lot of uh, broadcasters who have uh, bought cheaper stuff in the past and have had reliability problems or uh, not the length of life that, as gay Air, we would expect. So we have a, a new line from 50 watts in FM all the way up to 10 kilowatts, which is kind of appropriate for Europe, the Middle East. Uh, in Africa, um, we have a lower price product so they can further accelerate their signal expansion. So uh, those are the types of people that we target with some of the new FM products that we're coming out. Very good. And can you tell me a bit about where you think Gates Air is headed in the future? Oh, up and up and up, right? No, we. We're very customer focused. Um, we have the capability to do large rollouts. I think our growth will be in Africa, uh, in the Middle East, where those types of large projects are, 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 being, are required. 
Uh, and we're one of the few companies that can do the civil works, the project management, the training of the people, which is very important, um, to be able to allow them to, to meet their goals in the broadcast market. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. No Have a great rest of the show. Thank you.